welcome to Arthur L. Johnson Field. We're here in Clark, New Jersey for a county championship between the Scotch Plains Fanwood Raiders and the Clark Crusaders. This is shaping up to be a great day outside. A lot of turnout by both fans and um, should be a great, good one. Uh, any predictions today, Brian? Uh, I think the, the Raider girls, they have a lot more power than Clark and I think they're, they'll finally pull it out in the end. Oh, it's been a great four years for the Raiders as this is their fourth time in the county championship in four consecutive years. Uh, they're definitely a strong team and it's going to take a lot of heart from Clark to keep up. But uh, Clark is a great team as I've been informed by a friend that I go to school with and uh, they should be a great opponent today. Yeah, yeah, we should see a good game. I mean, county championships are always good no matter, no matter who's in them. It's always the best two teams. So... We should see uh, a lot of goals and a lot of big plays. Definitely. I know last year's was an exciting one. Um, I believe it was against Westfield. And, of course, that was exciting. But uh, let's hope this one can match up to that as the Scotch Plains girls take control of it and Clark intercepts. And Raiders, good job of getting it into the Clark opponent's side early on. And now with a breakaway, it's a four-on-one, though, so Clark will kick it back out. I haven't seen uh, many girls' soccer games, unfortunately, uh, with my job. But um, I had seen I have seen one where they played Elizabeth and absolutely destroyed them as this ball is kicked and saved by the goalie. Um, so I mean, this is a really dangerous team. The one thing that I saw that I liked the most about them was their passing accuracy. So look out for that for the Scottish Plains Raiders in today's game. Yeah, and the Raiders doing a great job of getting on the offense quickly. Good interception there, but Clark keeps it. The Raiders' defense also has done an amazing job. Um, the Raiders have always been a good second-half team in all their sports, football, soccer. As Clark intercepts here, and it's a three-on-two, I believe, but a defender catches up, and it'll be kicked out. And that's just a waste of an attack right there, and she tried to rush right for the goal and ended up swerving off to the side, just kicking it out of bounds. There's uh, really nothing happening there. Ball's kicked up. Raiders have it. They kick it up trying to get something going in the corner. And now they're on the attack, but it's going to be kicked out. And maybe we're looking for a long throw in here. Definitely. I know. They'll just throw it into the corner, so maybe we look for a cross. And some good defending by Clark. And it's kicked out, and Clark's, Clark has the throw in now, so they'll be looking on the offensive side. I mean, the Raiders have done a great job on defense all season as it, the ball's turned over, I believe, it went out. But um, let's look for their offense. I mean, it's my friend informed me that the Clark team is known for its defense as that one's kicked near the goal and recovered. And it's a good job putting the pressure. And if you get the goalie involved early on, it's usually a lot better of offensive game. You don't want to try and all these slow attacks, trying to get into the goal and have nothing. Again, a great turnout from Raider fans as well as Clark fans. I mean, always a great turnout by um, Scotch Plains fans when it comes to soccer. Uh, the Raiders love their soccer. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of in the Clark side, so it looks like the Raiders are definitely dominating early on. Ball is thrown in. High kick up. Clark has the ball in Raiders territory, but they intercept it. And now they're looking on the attack. Great pass right to the offender. And it looks like a trip or out of bounds. Looks like no foul on the play. That's surprising. Uh, thought that was a little dangerous. I mean, we're here at this beautiful Clark Field on a county championship as a player's down and injured now. Let's hope she's okay. It's number 12. And it looks like she just uh, kind of hit knees with somebody, so she'll probably be back in the game shortly. And it'll be Clark throwing. Maybe try to get it out of their territory. And they do. Good throwing all the way down the field. That's intercepted. Cronaccio on the interception. And looking up the left side again, the Raiders are really enjoying uh, offense on that side. Maybe they have the more stronger players positioned over there. 
Balls booted around. That was a strategy for the boys team as well in a game against Westfield. They would always take it up the left side, never the right. So um, maybe it's just strategy for both teams. Yeah, the problem with that is, I mean, all teams like to scout and all teams like to watch the other teams that they think they're going to be playing later on in the season. And if a Clark if a Clark coach happened to go to one of the Raiders teams and see that they're always attacking on the left side, they might just put all their defense over there and shut down the Raiders' offense. Definitely. That definitely is a danger. You really have to switch up your game plan, which is uh, one of the Raiders' strengths coming out of halftime. I really wouldn't expect any scoring in the first half. I know that's early, and it's uh, only 35 and a half minutes, uh, still 35 and a half minutes. So that one's saved by Jackie Law. A nice save. She's been a strong goalie all season. That one's booted out. I wonder what Clark was thinking right there. I mean, the goal was wide open. I mean, the goalie was on the ground, and it looks like they were trying to kind of float it over the box and maybe get a head in, which uh, probably wasn't the best idea. I mean, in the heat of the moment like that, it's kind of hard to figure out the best possible way to score. Ball is booted by Law. Senior is a really strong goalie. I mean, uh, I hardly ever see her let up a goal. The Raiders have it. Going up the right side this time, it looks like, although they look like they might be trying to get it back to the left side. Nice give and go there. And it's booted up. It's number four. And Clark will, looks like they'll control. And good job by the Clark defense, kind of slowing up, just passing it back, not trying to get it out really fast, and end up kicking out of bounds. So the Raiders will have a throw in. Good opportunity on the throw in and, uh, deep inside Clark territory. And that was a good defensive play by the defender for Clark getting the ball out from maybe going to the box and a good scoring opportunity. That looks like it'll be off the Raiders, but it's called off Clark. Yeah, she might have gotten a foot in through her legs or something. An attempt to cross, but it is kicked out again. Clark just seems to get the ball and kick it out as their strategy. Whistle and blows. Looks like that'll be some shoving. Ball will be booted up. The Raiders seem to have controlled the uh, ball here early on, controlled their possession, but uh, Clark doing a good job of forcing them out. A good uh, header to get into the middle of the field. Clark now on the attack. Good defensive play. Ball's booted up field by Scotch Plains. Clark heads it back. Raiders looking to make something happen, and that'll go out off of Clark. Clark having a tough time keeping the ball in bounds. That one's thrown up. I believe that hit a Clark player, but they'll keep it in anyway, uh, and then they'll boot it out. And maybe the Raiders will try to get something going in the middle of the field. Uh, going up to corners really hasn't helped them so far. As you just saw in your corner of your screen, number 12 getting a drink of water. She was the hurt player. Looks like she's up and walking, so we'll see her. We'll see her back in soon. A good throw up into Raider territory, but defense will kick it back up. And a lot of changing possessions. Two really good teams. I mean. <clears throat> The Raiders definitely have the experience in this game. I mean, four county championships in a row when they won the last three. 2006 was against Westfield with a tie. 2007 was against Westfield, which they won. And uh, I'm not sure 2005 was against, but uh, they definitely have the experience going for them against these Clark Crusaders. A mistake by Clark, a nice low kick given right to the Raider offense. We're not and a good with pass into the middle. And this is a great scoring opportunity. Turns around, kicks, and a save. Not enough power on it. And the ball will be punted up. Good job by the Raiders to keep it in Clark territory. It's very hard in, uh, in goalie punts. Raiders definitely doing a great job of controlling. Uh, we really haven't seen Clark gain control. And goalie takes it again. Goalie seeing a lot of action so far. Uh, as I said before, the Raiders have a very powerful, powerful attacking team. So they're looking like the stronger team early on. 
You're watching Scotch Plains TV, and we're coming from you live from Arthur L. Johnson uh, Soccer Field. And looks like the Bears a free kick. And a great kick right into the box. Good scoring opportunity. But again, the goalie picks it right up. And a good punt up the field. Raiders keep possession again. And it looks like it'll be a Raider throw in. Ball's thrown in. Raiders booting around, but it's booted out. I mean, the Raiders really have had, again, control of the ball, but uh, really haven't been able to get anything too close to the goal. They had one opportunity. All right, and a good throw in into the corner, looking for a cross, and it is kicked out. So not a long throw in, surprising. So now it'll be a goal kick. Looks like the defender will take. You see a lot of teams doing that. I mean, the goalie's not always the best kicker, so it is legal to have anybody on your team take the goal kick for. That was a bad kick as it was almost intercepted by Scotch Plains, but Clark controls and then gives it right back to Scotch Plains. Now Clark trying to keep it in possession, but they can't. Raider defense just taking the ball from him whenever they get it. And a good kick, and now they're looking on the attack. Raiders, uh, they don't seem to be beating Clark on their speed. So we'll probably try to see them form slow attacks, maybe up the middle and try to get into the corner and make a cross. And now it'll be a goal kick. Clark takes possession for the first time on a goal kick, I believe. Raiders get it right back. And now the Raiders on the attack again. A great kick over into the corner, trying to get something happening, but Clark knocks it out. And now throwing into the corner. They're looking for a cross. The Raiders have not got one cross in yet. They've always gotten to the corner, and Clark just seems to be doing a good job of getting the ball out of bounds. The cross is coming up here for the Raiders. Brian, this is what you said they would be looking for, so let's see if they can capitalize. It's good. Raiders setting up around the box and trying to close in so the defense really doesn't know where they're going to go. Good high kick to the outside, and that one would just go over the head of the player intended. And that was a good looking play. They had a really good scoring opportunity. It's really hard to score on corners, so if you can do it, you really have a, a great strategy. I mean, you're right. I really haven't been to a high school soccer game where I've seen anyone score on a corner, I believe. I don't. Yeah, I think I've seen one or two, but it's very uncommon. These are weak kicks coming out of uh, off goal kicks. I'm not sure if they're just trying to start something, but they really need to start getting the ball to Scotch Plains' side, and they've been unable to do that. And um, I believe a big factor of that is if you don't have a strong goal kick to get it to at least midfield, the Raiders hurry up this throw in, but it goes right out of bounds. Yeah, as you said, I mean, they probably are trying to get it to their, their defense and try to push the ball up, but the Raiders have been doing well kind of uh, figuring out where the ball's going to go. And that's a mistake and by that Clark player looking the other way. But uh, And that one will just go out of bounds. There just seemed to be some miscommunication there as the goal kicker uh, kicked it to the player. It was turned the other way. And the Raiders jumped on that, and now it'll be a throw in. And I think the soccer ball has been in the Clark territory for a good 10 minutes now. So you obviously see some... Uh, Raiders definitely looking like the better team. That one's booted up and the goalie loses it and then gains control. 
That was a dangerous uh, position for the goalie to be in. He was, uh, she was in the middle of a lot of players, and she just went in there and uh, dropped the ball, but she was able to gain recovery as the Raiders have it here. And again, Clark boots it out. And some shoving there, but no foul. Maybe the ref's trying to give them a possession. As you know, if a foul's committed on the, the defense, and the ref believes that the offense has a good chance of scoring. He can he cannot call the call the foul until the defense maintains possession. Strong kick, but it goes off a Clark defender, and the Raiders will control. A nice move there to lose the defender, looking for a cross, gives it off to a player who trips. I'm not sure if she was tripped, but uh, she did lose possession. But now the Raiders have it again. Yeah, it looked like she kind of stepped on the ball and uh, fell over it. Good job by Clark to get the ball, and now they're on the attack. Something that's rare, but a strong kick, and that's a mistake unless they thought the player could outrun the two defenders. Well, it's actually a good idea, I think, for Clark to get it into their territory and uh, maybe try to push it and get a little pressure on him, except whenever the ball goes to Law, she just boots it halfway down the field. What an incredible kick, and that one almost goes for a goal. Scott claims that that last defender could have on the foot on it, but uh, the goalie does a nice job charging and uh, boots it out. The Raiders have it again on the attack, looking to set up something. And a good it's kick into the middle. But no heads connect. Ball. Their goalie can't kick it as far as our goalie. And the ball is punted up. And the Raiders take possession again. I mean, they are just pushing Clark all the way up until they find they finally end up with a goal. I don't so really I know think. what uh, Clark's game plan is going into this game. I guess defend and uh, see if you could just get off a breakaway, but uh, that doesn't seem to be working. These Raiders are good offenders and know how to control the ball and pass. So I'm not sure that uh, Clark's gonna come away with a win if they continue this. Well, I think most of the reason why the Raiders are dominating in this in this early half is that they've been in so many counting championships and they are not feeling the butterflies and the jitters as much as Clark is. So I think uh, maybe in the second half, Clark will definitely start maybe becoming more comfortable with a counting championship game and maybe even give the Raiders a run for their money. But right now, from what I've seen, uh, I don't think Clark has much of a chance here. I agree. I mean, this is a really tough thing to do and come in and beat a uh, three-time, I don't know what to call it, I guess Goliath would be a good term, uh, to come in as David and try to take down these Raiders. And a great kick up into the corner, and the Raiders have a good scoring opportunity. It's booted right at the goalie, but it's knocked out. We got hit. And uh, a really high punt. And again, looks like the Raiders will take over possession. But no, Clark keeps it. And one girl on three kept it in possession. Clark seems to be keeping most of their players on defense. I'm not sure if that's a certain formation they have going or it's just because of what has happened in the game so far. But uh, they really only had two players up there on offense as this ball is kicked in the corner. That was a great kick. I just put perfect power on Perfect uh, direction. They able to retrieve it. This is a great opportunity. A bad angle, though. A shot, good shot that just went a little high. She had a bad angle, but got off the perfect shot, just a little high. And that would have been a goal maybe two inches lower. And I think uh, Law had a great position in the goal, so there really wasn't much of, a, much of a chance that she would get it in. But I think maybe if she tried to uh, get it a little to the left of her, try to kind of finesse it into the goal, she would have maybe gotten it a little easier. A lot of contact, no call. Clark getting on the offensive now. Oh, oh, great throw. throw. Perfect right, but it's intercepted. And more changing of possession here. Clark, open field, trying to boot it up. And they're doing some 
great passing, a lot better than uh, what I've seen from the Raiders. And that might come into uh, a goal later on. Clark has a lot of speed, which we didn't really, we touched upon earlier, but we're really able to see in those last couple of plays, uh, possessions, excuse me, uh, Clark really just kicking the ball up and their players were out running the Scotch Plains defenders. And um, let's see if that game plan works. The ball, a good kick right to the edge. And another good one up into the corner. Maybe looking for an, a cross, but again, they just cannot. Oh, and a mistake by a Clark defender giving it right back. And again, the ball is just kicked right at the goalie. That Clark defender was looking to avoid the cross, but uh, ended up giving it right to a Scotch Plains play offender and uh, almost went up with a goal. Ball's kicked up. And great job maintaining possession on that, but it, it goes out of bounds. And it looks like the Raider offender is limping a little bit there, but I think she'll be okay. And we're waiting for a throw in it, throw in now. And a long one, but it goes right back to the Raiders. And they again give it up, seeing a lot of possession changes again. And a bad pass from a Clark defender to another defender, but they're able to rebound and still gain control. But then it's kicked to the Raiders. We have a couple players on offense, but that one's booted up to the goalie. Ball is punted up. Good job by Clark maintaining possession on that one. And maybe look to boot it up or start a slow attack. And a great kick up into the corner. But great defensive move there. And it looks like the Raiders will take over. No, referee's calling for Clark throwing. It's a good opportunity for Clark as uh, we've seen how far they can throw the ball in. They can throw it right in there for a, a header or an easy tap and in. I believe number two is their long thrower, so we'll be looking for a good throw into the box. And a great header to get it out of there. Reflected, fighting for possession. And again, most of soccer what we see in high school is just possession. I mean, if you are keeping control of the ball and control of the clock, you have so much more of a chance of winning. I mean, it's a lot like football. You, if you have the lead, you can control the clock a lot easier. And if you don't have the lead, you can keep the ball on their side and get an easier goal. So Law will punt this out as a goal kick. And uh, a good kick up and the Raiders will maintain possession. So hard to keep possession on these goal kicks. I mean, it's pretty much a 50-50 shot whether you're gonna keep the ball. And good move there. And some pushing and obviously foul the call. I'm not knowing if uh, He's going to show a card. Looks like he's not. So the Crusaders will have a free kick. And number 12 is back in the game. He was injured before. And that kick was, was uh, away from anyone. This ball will be kicked out of bounds. It's a miscommunication as the ball is given right back to the Raiders. And Clark with possession up on the left side of the field. Maybe look to get something in the corner or across. Doesn't look like they have a lot of people in the box though, so maybe they'll look to start something in the middle of the field. The 
ball is kicked up to Clark's last defender, and she kicks it up. The game seems to have changed, uh, seems to have changed in the second half of this first period. Um, I mean, before it was all Raiders on the attack, and now Clark seems to have gotten something clicking, and now they're on the attack more than the Raiders. Yeah, it's a real possession game here, and if you can keep possession, you're going to win the game. As we've seen so many times before, it only takes uh, one play to just break loose for a goal. Uh, a couple seconds of uh, any mistake can lead to a goal, but I doubt that a goal will be scored here in the first period. I'm just not expecting it, the way these two teams are playing uh, mostly on defense. Well, you never know. I mean, both of the teams seem to be dealing with the pressure of uh, county finals a little better than earlier in the game. And now we're looking at a lot more tactical offense instead of, I mean, getting the game, Clark was just kicking it up and trying to get a quick goal. And we've seen that strategy work too, but not close to as often as the slow, controlled attacks. And that'll be Raider ball. Raiders throw it in and it's headed right back out by the Raiders, or by Clark, excuse me. Short throw, it's headed up and go out of bounds again. So the Raiders just trying to maybe push the ball down the right side of the field and force Clark to continue to head it out of bounds every 10 yards or so. A substitution made by the Raiders and we'll resume play. Another throw and Clark manages to keep it in. Now they have possession going down, but they give it right back up. Clark will have it, and now the Raiders intercept. Keeping it at midfield. Looking for a short, quick pass, and that's intercepted by Clark. Clark really getting things clicking here in the second half of the first period as that one's intercepted. A great play by the Raider defender, and a good sacrifice by the Clark players. She jumped right in between that pass and uh, almost fell with a track player's run, which is solid ground. Yes, and uh, I'm wondering how the referee could have saw that out on the Raiders. I mean, uh, maybe if it hit off her leg or something, but I thought that would definitely be a Raider throw-in. And Clark intercepts this deep inside Raider territory, but that one's just booted towards the goalie as a Clark player was cutting, but you could see uh, the Clark player that passed, I believe, was number 12, looking uh, a little upset with some miscommunication. Uh, Raiders on the attack. Nice move by Grenaccia. Raiders had it right in the box. Grenaccia. And a good header up, trying to get something going in the Clark side of the field. But again, the defense just kicking it back. Clark doing a lot better job of getting the ball into the Raider territory. And a great pass leading him right into uh, leading right into the middle of the field. And now I believe looks that like was all sides. Both teams doing a great job passing. So as we said, control is always the main thing. Um, both teams showing equal control. So I'm not really sure this game's gonna go to now. I mean, I was predicting Raiders early on, but uh, I think Clark might swing it their way now. Jeff, you hear that? And now a good attack opportunity here and a great move, but the ball is kicked for a field goal, which happens to be no points in soccer.
so the Crusaders will uh, boot it out on a goal kick. And now Clark maybe trying to get up into their territory, but it's kicked out. And for our viewers that may not know this, um, it's not like basketball where if you go out of bounds and you touch the ball, the ball is therefore out of bounds. As long as the ball stays inside the lines, then it is in bounds. I mean, a person can be clearly out of bounds and kick it up and it would still be okay. And good attack opportunity here. We try to get around them, a good pass and a great lead and some great passing by the Raiders. Great. And now they have it in the corner, looking for an attacker on the side. But it looks like it's going to be a tripping or uh, out of bounds. And Maybe it'll be a corner for the Raiders yeah, now. It looks like no one's really running back to the midfield, so it'll most likely be a corner. As we said before, corners and uh, goals off corners in high school football are rare. But... Um, Excuse me, soccer. Wrong sport, right field. Um, and the corner's up. And, and an open goal. Booted out. Nice save by Clark Defender. Great positioning, but uh, not sure where the goalie was. I lost there in that uh, huge pile, but uh, good kick and just great positioning by a Clark Defender. And now the Raiders have the ball on the midfield and a great kick way up into the box, but nothing doing. And defense will take it out. All right, are you okay? Hey Jeff, what happened on that play really close to the ball? I couldn't see it because of the little screen. I, got, I caught it, but I didn't see it. It's now a throw in. A good throw into the corner and it's headed out. Raiders utilizing the strategy of kind of throwing it down the line and hoping Clark heads it out of bounds. And now that Raiders kick it out of bounds, so Clark will throw it in. Raiders put that way out into the stands. All right, so now Clark will have a throw in. See the Raider crowd getting into the game a little bit. They've been quite, kind of quiet, and it's uh, very uncharacteristic of them. They're usually the loudest crowd compared to others. And it looks like Clark was trying to do a little acting out on the field. Not much of a foul. And the Raiders still doing their chance. Wonder what sparked the crowd. As you said before, yeah, the Raider uh, crowd is usually the most loud, especially in soccer. Um, they always show up to the soccer games. The crowd's always full, and as it is again today. And the ball is now kicked onto the corner, looking to save it, but cannot. Looks like she slowed up a little bit. She had a good chance of keeping that ball in. Raider throwing. And a good job finding the open man there. Clark across. I mean, not much has gone on in this game. A uh, couple of great opportunities the Raiders had, but uh, Clark hasn't had as many opportunities as the Raiders. And um, not much has happened besides that. A lot of uh, fighting for the ball, a lot of battling for control, but uh, no goals up on the scoreboard, and uh, it is getting towards the end of the first period. So uh, not that exciting of a game, but it is counting championships, so stay tuned. Yeah, and you usually see that in the first half of Raider games. I mean, the, if you were to look at their stats for each half, you would see major differences in the offense and defense also. I mean, both teams just... They, they do so much better in the second half. 
Right. I always wondered why that was. I guess the, uh, the adjustment level just goes off and they start clicking. I'm not, I'm not really... Do you have any idea why that would... Yeah, well, it's a lot about loosening up and not trying to do everything perfectly right. I mean, in the beginning of the game, you're kind of concentrating, like, you're, dri you're dribbling up the field. Oh, I got to find the open man. I don't know what to do. Kind of like that. And in the second half, you're a little more loose, like, you'd be dribbling up the field and maybe you go around the defender or you'd find someone breaking and kick it over the defender's head. It's, it's a lot more of just adjusting to the game. And, I mean... You see the same thing. I mean, I play basketball. I know it's it's hard when you first start the game to make a sh make the shots and do everything right. But as the game progresses, you kind of get the feel for it a little more, and it's a lot easier to play. That would definitely be understandable. I mean, the adjustment level has to change. So the Raiders will have it. Both stands chanting back and forth now. Rays will have a throw in. And now the Raiders have a good opportunity. He's kicked up, but the goalie will save it. Balls booted up into the middle of the field and looks like the Raiders are kicking out. And now Clark on a good attack here. But a great job of the defense to keep it in. I did not think that was possible. I mean, she did a great job of getting in possession and she didn't have to kick it out like most of the Clark defenders have had to do today. Now, we throw it in for Clark. And she's their long thrower, so we'll see something in the box. And a great throw, but none of the Clark offenders could get around the Raider defense there and maybe get to where they the ball was going to uh, go. They set picks on the, on the Crusaders to get around. They didn't, they didn't really have an opportunity to get to the ball by the position of the Scotch Plains defenders. And now the Raiders, good job of getting the ball. And now they're going to the corner. That's what and a great about opportunity. To get around the defender instead of looking for the open man. And I don't know why oh, Clark tried to keep that ball in. That was really dangerous. And they're lucky that the Raiders didn't get an easy scoring opportunity. And the ref does not call out of bounds. Uh, the Clark defender looks looked like they were uh, waiting for that ball to go out of bounds. And now Raiders will kick it out. And that just like that, the attack is over, even though it looks so promising. As you said before, it was a uh, dangerous. It was uh, dangerous for them to try to keep that ball in. I mean, they made that mistake early. You think they would have maybe learned, but uh, that's been their strategy, just to keep the ball in and uh, not let the Raiders get any corners. And the Raiders have been looking for corners, so they kind of contradict each other. And we end up with a 0-0 game. I like didn't really trick or treat last night. And now Clark kicks it in and keeps possession. It was a good job of doing that. And it looks like she was looking for somebody, but nobody was around, so the Raiders take the ball. Down the field by Clark and the Raiders headed back up. And now Clark taking the ball again. I mean, you see a lot of patterns of uh, either one team dominating the possession or both teams flip-flopping between each other for a good five minutes or so. This snack stand is now open. As you can hear, the snack stand is now open. So the Clark looks like they have a great opportunity if they could find an open player. They seem to struggle with that once they get it into uh, Raider territory deep inside near the goal. They uh, seem to almost panic in a way and not be able to find the open player and uh, just turn around and kick it backwards almost. <laughs> Unless they're looking for that, but uh, I doubt that that would be their game plan. Yes, 
the third lane come back? Yeah. Alright, can you get me like a code or something? And now the Raiders have possession around midfield and a good kick up keeping their possession. Yeah. But it looks like Clark will take it right back. Really? I'll pay it back, but like, alright. And a good high kick up, and Clark will. <laughs> Clark will. Clark will take possession. <laughs> and now Clark has it on the throw in. A good throw in, uh, as we said, they have some good throw ins, but just haven't been able to get anything started. Either, I think either, either of these teams, and it's been a pretty dull first half with a couple of opportunities. Clark has the, uh, the speed factor on their side, but the Raiders seem to have the passing on their side, and both teams are kind of contradicting each other at this point, and nothing has happened. As you can see, a great turnout by the Raider fans. As always, any uh, comments on the first half? Well, I think if you uh, if you stuck around for the first half, there should be no reason why you should leave because I'm sure the second half will be a lot more exciting as it always is. And I think both teams will really come through looking a lot more professional than in the first half. where They're just kind of more conservative, just trying to put a little pressure on the other team. I agree. Uh, as is always known in uh, Raider Scotch playing soccer, uh, the second half is full of surprises. So we'll see that in the second half. You're watching Scotch Plains TV.